A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 9th June. On the front page you have, Monsoon finally arrives in Kerala. So it is a week later than normal onset. The normal onset date is of 1st June. So now it has arrived on 8th June. But the criteria has been met as per the Indian Meteorological Department. So finally monsoon has arrived. And you can see there has been good pre-monsoon rainfall over the last 48 hours and other criteria have been met. Then this is India-Maldives signed six key agreements. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on his first visit outside India and that is to Maldives. And here his, uh, he has signed six key agreements. He says that bilateral ties are older than history with Maldives. So the six key agreements, the details are given here, you can see, on, are on various issues like hydrography, health, passenger and cargo services by sea, capacity building in customs and civil services training. And then here you have golden lungo to get fruits of MGNREGS. So this is regarding the MGNREGS scheme in Assam. So here trees have been planted, 27.24 lakh rupees project to plant trees in Assam forest had been initiated under MGNREG and this is going to help the endangered primate golden langur. It will give it a habitat again. So this is important even for the species because questions are asked in UPSC about species and which region do they, are they found in so, and whether they are found in India or not. So Then on page 3 you have Half government's outcome budget misleading, BJP. So this is regarding the outcome budget for 2019-20, which the AAP government of Delhi, Aam Admi Party government of Delhi released. So this is challenged by BJP, but basically you should know about what is an outcome budget. So outcome budget is a practice in which, uh, you know, uh, there's continuous monitoring, every three months monitoring of the budget and expenditure scene. So it's basically to control expenditure of various ministries. As the term suggests, we have input, output and outcome. So you put in input, you get some output. But outcome is the result. That whether you are getting the result which is expected. So output would be anything. But outcome is the desired output. On page 9 you have India, Portugal to join hands in setting up maritime museum. So this is about setting up national maritime heritage museum at Lothal in Gujarat. So, Indian Navy is keen to be a stakeholder in the project and Portuguese Navy has also agreed to assist with the experience of administering the Maritime Museum in Lisbon. On page 11 you have, India asks Pakistan to exempt PM's flight. So, this is regarding how Pakistan has closed its airspace for India. So, this is resulting in flights being detoured. So, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on a visit, uh, state visit abroad. So, India has asked Pakistan to exempt PM's flight. Then on international page you have Trump calls off tariffs against Mexico. So, US President Donald Trump had uh, announced tariffs against Mexico reaching up to 25% by October 2019. But now the two nations have reached a deal and those tariffs were imposed in lieu of the illegal migrants coming into USA from Mexico along the border. So, now the two nations have reached a deal on expanding an asylum program to stop the flow of migrants to US. So, this is an important development. Otherwise, these high tariffs on Me against Mexico would have uh, would have derailed the successor treaty or agreement to NAFTA, North, Atl North American Free Trade Agreement, which has been negotiated between among USA, Mexico, and Canada, which will replace NAFTA. So, that is a good development that tariffs against Mexico have been called off. Then on Sundays, you have this FAQ coverage, frequently asked questions. So first one is, how will a 5G network power the future? So government plans to start trials for next generation, that is fifth generation cellular technology in 2019. So is India prepared for it and how, what it would entail is detailed out here. So this is an important coverage on 5G, the technology. So this is a very important article. 
Then this is tweaking visa norms. So these are regarding American immigration norms. They have been tightened recently. So the article covers up why they have been tightened and why does US want to know the internet history of applicants. So last five years social media history has to be given to by, by all applicants. Earlier it was for some applicants whose, whose, uh, whose applications require further scrutiny. But now the norms have been tightened. On 31st May 2019, and such last five years, social media history is required to submit to be submitted by all immigrants. So this is for immigrants as well as non-immigrants, all visa applicants, except from diplomatic and such visas, official visas. And the third article is why is the three what is the three language formula? So the three language formula was prominently in use in the week where opposition to Hindi language in southern states was seen, especially in Tamil Nadu and also in West Bengal. So what is this three language formula? It's an old controversy and the details of this is given here. We have, earlier too we have seen protests against Hindi language in Tamil Nadu. Then on Sundays you have science and technology coverage. So this article is IISC team submits more evidence of superconductivity. So this has prominently been in news for last two, two, three times and now again it is in news. So this is regarding Indian Institute of Science researchers led by Professor Arindam Ghosh from the Department of Physics. They have uh, submitted their find regarding superconductivity at normal temperature pressure and now they have uh, there were questions raised and they have provided further proofs also and now more evidence of superconductivity has been submitted. So they posted a preprint preprint which fills up all the lacuna in their previous submissions. So this is a further development. So this is an important issue from comes often in news. So it's important and you should know about superconductivity as such too. That is about the objects which do not which are not uh, conductors superconductors at normal temperature uh, generally but in specific conditions they turn into superconductors means the resistance falls dramatically you know even up to zero resistance near zero resistance so they become superconductors and this is new paper based test kit for malaria detection so this is a new paper based test kit which has been developed by a group of researchers from IIT Guwahati so here you can see it can be used to detect malaria so it's an instrument free approach Below you have IIT Mandi observes zero resistance at high temperature in gold silver nanostructures. So a group of researchers from IIT Mandi have now observed that a gold silver nanostructure which they have fabricated, they could, they could be superconducting at relatively high temperatures. So zero resistance has been observed, superconducting capabilities are observed when this nanostructure is taken at high temperatures. Then this is scientists create a global map of where groundwater meets oceans. So scientists have created this high resolution map of points around the globe where groundwater meets the oceans. So this is first such analysis of its kind and this will help in pro protecting both drinking water as well as the sea. Because if seawater mixes with drinking water, it is a cause of concern because seawater is saline. Then there's no news on the last page. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. Thank you.